low class, low rent, low rank. Get out of here. Maybe a lawyer. I dated a couple lawyer people before. Who? Lead attorney. Y'all tag lead attorney to this his wife because she's dated lawyer people. And you know, lead attorney, she look like your type, bro. Come get your wife. Come get your wife for, for the streets. Take her back. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I'm back at it again with another review from Kevin Samuels. And yeah, this time a 36 year old scripper wants to be a luxury housewife. This should just go well. I mean, that seems very realistic. I, I'm just saying, like, I mean, totally. Girl, don't let nobody else, don't let nobody stunt your dreams. You gonna make a way out of no way. No, I'm 36. 36, okay. I, 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 mean, I talk to a lot of people. Okay, 36, what's going on with you? Okay, so basically, I've never even, I always wanted to get married, but just being serious with someone, um, I don't know, maybe till like about 32, I just didn't think about it. I just was just still having fun. Okay. And what, is it, what, what, is, what does that mean? Uh, just dating, casually dating people, not necessarily having sex with them. Okay. But of course, everyone wants to have sex. Yeah. So it's like. Okay. I, y'all gonna make me do it. Do not make me. She was ready to be a luxury housewife. I, mm, I, I just gotta say it. I just got. I just gotta say it. I'm not sure where is this man that is looking to wife up a middle aged scripper. I mean, and I'm just being honest. I've been in high end circles of life. This is not how those women present in any form or fashion. Um, with the outfit, the hair, the earrings, like the whole presentation, nothing wrong with it. She's being her. I'm not putting that down. But what she's talking about don't make no sense. But outside of that, she's saying she's a scripper. Well, she hasn't got to that part yet. But she's had all these casual relationships, but no sex. If you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. I, I got a big bridge to sell you. Just cash at me. I'll, I'll deliver it. You do not get, how tall are you? I'm 5'2". Dress size? A two. So a woman who is cute, over 30, single, childish. It's crazy. <laughs> That's what we, cause, cause you have run across plenty of suitable men and you've gotten to be this age and unmarried with no kids. That, and that's what men think. Well, now I'm just putting myself out there a little bit more. To do what? Than what I was in the past. I was uh, so, at one point I just wanted to date an athlete or a basketball player or a rapper or something. I would only try to, be you know in the area or go to clubs try to meet those type of people but now i'm much more open so basically we're hearing in her younger years she was chasing a bag not a man she wanted a lottery ticket and probably passed over many guys who were good guys decent guys hard-working guys and now she passed them up in her 20s and now in her mid and middle age she's ready to open herself up to them as though now they're gonna look at her and say, oh, her. And more young women need to hear this because you think you're gonna just be, you know, ran through in your 20s. And then when you get close to 30 or in your 30s and middle age, all that trauma that you've experienced from trying to chase the athletes, the NBA, the Chads, the Tyrones, the Pookies, or whatever's gone on are not making wise choices. All that comes with you. All that comes with you as you age. Guys, when you're young and you're thinking he wants to play this good guy now, that you pass up now wants to play Mr. Cleanup because now he can finally have you. I honestly think this is the mentality that you, that when you're younger, oh, he couldn't get to you, you know, cause you know, he couldn't get to you when you were younger. So now that you've had your fun and settled down, all right, hi, hi, Michael, you know, what's up or whatever like that. But we think Michael's dumb, he's blind. 
that he didn't experience some type of trauma from the women rejecting him after he's grown and gotten himself together. Now we're looking for him to be Mr. Fix It, Mr. Repair Man, but he has more options than we do in marriage. I guess older and I don't know. I don't want to say I'm settling, but I'm just more open. I'm more mature. Did you go to college? Maybe. Did you go to college? Huh? Did yeah. you hold the phone steady? Could I went just, to school. Could you hold, could you hold the phone steady? Cal State LA. Huh? I went to Cal State LA. Okay, could you just hold the phone steady because it's moving all over. Could you set it down? Oh. So it doesn't move? Because I don't know if you ladies hear what you hear the men. Go ahead, take your time. Okay. You got a book or something you can set it on? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Do the women that call in, have they just never seen it before? Do they not understand they need light on on their face? They need the camera steady in a position. It's like you can't follow basic instructions, yet you think you're going to be able to cooperate with a man who wants to put you into this luxury housewife lifestyle, and you can't follow basic instructions? Having this show over and over, and women will come in looking all kinds of ways, can't get their stuff straight, can't follow basic instruction, but... Some man is just dying out there to rescue you. Okay, sis. Okay. Because, you know, I really didn't make a point to get on here. And I was relaxed and watching TV. And I'm just so surprised. Okay. But... Okay. See? Go. All right. Wherever it happened to you. It seemed like you just disconnected. All right. Here's what me and here. There I am. Here's what me and here. I'm 36 years old. I used to run around. I used to run around and want to uh, have athletes and entertainers, and you weren't doing that just because they're great guys. It was because of their resources and their attention. All of the above. Right. So. Now and then you and then you then you not even so man you you coming across as a manipulative woman. It only I mean like you you can I can talk to somebody for so long and you know my brain or whatever but after a while they can't see I can't see um so anyways um I might not like them like they like me. You know, I might be a little more sweeter than what they thought I was. I, they they might have thought I was a mean, bad girl, but really I'm not, you know? So you just never know. Or then I thought I met somebody that I really was interested in that was in the music industry. But come to find Is it me or does it look like the stencil or tattoo baby hair that's, that she got going on? And she's like doing all this. I'm like... I can't. Right now, he wanted to date girls that made more money than him. I asked you, basically, what are you putting out there? And you said your look. What, what else am I supposed to look? I mean, what else am I supposed to put out there? Okay, let's go with that. How many kids do you want to have? Two, or I'll be fine with one. Can you turn off the TV or whatever? Who's that? It's a background noise. What is that? My friend talking. I <laughs> want to be a part of it. Too. No, no. Sorry, tell me about a boyfriend. You just talking to that. I have a boyfriend, but I mean, he's a boyfriend. He not. We not married, so that means I'm still single. That's true. No, I'm I'm single. If I'm not married, I'm single. No, we not. She got a whole man over there, which she claims is her friend, but then she has a boyfriend and she's calling into Kevin's show. What man wants to, a middle-aged scripper who already has a man, 
Who wants to put her into a luxury housewife lifestyle? I know. Kemp's just being mean. I'm just being mean. <laughs> My yeah, boy, bro. That's not your boyfriend, is it? No. All right. Do you have another room we can go into? Yes. Why don't you go? Why don't you do that? Okay. Wait, the lights still on the work? Mm hmm. Oh. <clears throat> All righty then. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Well, we're trying to figure that one out. Okay, there we go. All right. So, yes, if you're not married, you're single. Yeah, period. Okay. No but you say you want to have two kids. Yes. Uh, do you want to have <laughs> to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant and married with the first child? No, that's why I never got had kids before. I'm talking about after you're married. No. Do you want to have to work? Y'all, a lot of these women are calling up. I'm not trying to be funny, but I, I listen, it is what it is. Your house look a ratchet mess. It's not clean. Not saying you got to live in some luxury accommodations, but her bed not made. She, it, she has no discipline. She lacks discipline, self-control. Like I can just see by the way her house is looking, the way she's dressing and presenting, what she's talking about, like... What man is coming to rescue her to be some housewife unless he's 80 and he just wants something, you know, to, to see him through to the end of life. Maybe that's what she's looking for. Just a, a guy that got his pension and, and, and she could just be in the house and, but she not even doing like housewife stuff. What she think he's going to just give her a maid. Look how nasty that bed look not being made. I'm sorry. No, you're not, you're not qualified. I'm sorry. You're not qualified. Like just on that alone, like, No. no. Okay, okay. No. Stop. Turn off your comments or whatever so you can focus on the conversation. I'm trying to have a conversation. Yeah, I'm 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 talking yeah. to you. What percent what over what percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for, for a lifetime? For your two kids and your husband, what percentage of the overall family financial load? I mean, do you want your kids to be able to go to college if they want to? Yes. Do you want to be able to travel nationally and internationally with your family? Yeah, I already had traveled by myself, but uh, yes. Okay. If I would, uh, oh, ma'am, 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 ma let me. If I, yes, I don't want to have to pay for anything if okay, I'm there. So you want to be a housewife? Yes. Okay. Uh, were you raised to be a wife? All my grandmas and my my mom was. That's a, a yes or no. Husband. That's a yes or yes. no. Yes. Your mother was a housewife? Yes. Your father died at what age? My father died when he was When 30. you were what age? When you were what oh, age? I was 11, but my mom never married my dad. She married my stepdad. So when I was born, I first knew my stepdad before I knew my dad. How many children did your mother have? How many children? Four. Any, Four. any, any other, any sisters? I have three sisters. They so, all have kids. Excuse me. Except me. Excuse me. It's four, huh? it's four girls? Five. Three girls, one boy. So your mother, so they all, but they're not married? Uh, one of my sisters is, my younger oh, but, sister. But the other ones aren't? And the ones that aren't married have children? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So ma'am, were they raised in a household with you? Yep. Then you weren't raised to be a housewife. I'm the oldest. I don't know. I don't. I didn't do what they did. They didn't do what I did. I, I did everything separate and different than how they did. Ma'am, ma'am, don't get defensive. Oh, uh, I understand what you're saying. Well, do you think you're moving like a woman who's a housewife? Why not? That's not. No, no. You don't. Answer. So the advantage of me being divorced um, is I can give a perspective of being married. Um, I was married for 12 years and I was a housewife until I started a business and I was raised in church. I was raised, taught about submission and Christian school, all these things my entire life. This is not, 
it. That, I mean, I know a lot of women think it is. I think this, she's, she's, you know, she's thinking in this way that this is, that somehow she's coming off that way just because she looks good. But, um, since I got bad news for you, I got bad news. You're going to have to hold on. You're going to have to hold on to God's unchanging hands. So you are nobody's housewife. You are nobody's housewife. And this is coming from the perspective from someone who homeschooled, lived a luxury lifestyle, was a housewife, and had a very successful business. All of that. This ain't it. So anybody wants to say, well, you're divorced, you can't give no advice. Well, I'm telling you what it is. Go listen to people who are happily married and, and they, 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 if that's what you want, or go listen to single people, which most of the dating experts out there are single, believe it or not. Um, but take it from somebody who can look back on hindsight 2020 and, and not only see the things that worked and the things that didn't work, the things that should have been a priority and the things that shouldn't be a priority. And, I'm, and, and the things that it took for me to make it as far as I did, not it wasn't perfect by any means, but just on step one, let's say there's 100 steps to being where she wants to be. She's not even in the game. She's not even on step one. She's not even in the house. She's not even in the door. It's just not, it's just not going to happen. And it's not a put down. It's just a reality. She's got to have a different life goal. She's got to come up with something else because this will not work. You're not going to be some luxury housewife, middle age, raised the way you were. Listen, anybody can come from anything and change their life. I'm not putting that down. Trust me, my mother came from very bad circumstances and changed her life. But what I'm saying is their mindset is not there. It, in, in, in a middle age, you really just can't reverse time and get there. It's just a fact. Answer a question with a question. I ask you a question. Do you feel like you, do you think you're moving like a woman who's a housewife? Yes. I take care, I have- Is that house, is that house a cave? No, listen, I you're have- You're moving like a damn barbarian. There's no listen, ma'am. You're oh. talking about, you're talking about you went around, you, you were a groupie for athletes. You, you, okay. you, you manipulated dudes. You got a boyfriend now, and now you want to be a housewife and all you bring into the table is your looks. And I'm just going with it. But how much is a man going to have to pay your 36 year old self to be a housewife? How much is he going to have to make to, 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 to take care of you and two kids? Whatever it is to maintain the life. What state do you live in? I live in, I, I have two residents. I live in Texas and I also live in Los Angeles. And I pay both my rents by myself. My boyfriend and has- fucking congratulations. I don't care yes. if you can do what adults do. I'm really doing my best, man, but you're about to make me go there. I want this to- is because, This I, is I because of your it. attitude. I, I need you to chill out. I need you to chill out. You what do you get know. if you win? What do you get when you win a championship? A ring, or what is it commonly? Accolades. What is it commonly known as? A trophy, right? Yes. Are you a trophy wife? I can be. I didn't ask. Can you? You're, are you a trophy wife? Definitely, I am. Uh huh. What would you rank yourself? Just your face, fresh face out of the shower. Well, I'm fresh that. right now, so I'll say like an eight. An eight. So you put yourself up there with Beyonce. Yeah. I'm a little bit younger than Beyonce and I still look cool. She's not an ugly woman, okay? She's not an ugly woman by any means. But is it me or she just looks eight? She looks ate up. She looks used up. It just looks, and I'm not saying that to put her down, but she doesn't look fresh faced. Like, like, I don't know, something is off. But if he hadn't put the scripper in the thing, this is the vibes that I'm getting. And I could see how most men would do that. She's attractive enough, but she's not, you know, like I used to work at Vogue. So I know when Kevin talks about this, she's not presenting like those women do in any form or fashion. It, it just is not even, and in LA, it's not even, I mean, this is comedy hour right now at the Apollo based on this, or the Laugh Factory, whatever's in, whatever's in LA. I mean, this is just like a, a stand-up routine. Honestly, she would be good at a stand-up routine and like coming up there like, I'm, I'm looking to be a luxury housewife. All right, I'm 36, I'm a scripper. What? Like, I mean, this would be a funny stand-up bit. Maybe I ought to do it in one of my characters. If you guys don't know, I do a little comedy, actually. That's actually what I do mostly is comedy, but you'll see more of that soon. I know, I look so serious now, right? I'm very presentable.
but I'm a clown at, at heart. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So again, your Monique, you think that a man, just because you're natural and you're cute, what else could he want? All right, and I mean, I have a bachelor. Uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Okay. So do you plan on homeschooling your children? No. Uh, if I, private, I don't private school, private school or public school? Probably private. Okay. So do you plan on having a house people? Definitely. A maid? I have one now. <laughs> so, so, so. Uh, you're going to have someone else to, to help. She got a maid who is cl cleaning her house. Ray Charles. The thing is, a, she has a maid, y'all. She has a housekeeper. Prepare for prepare meals, too. No, I cook really well. OK, so in other words, all you're going to do is incubate a child. <laughs> No. <laughs> you make that sound so funny. Man, you weren't famous before you are now. <laughs> you said she belongs to the <laughs> Look it, I, I waited so long to be able to have kids and to do everything. I always wanted to really do everything right. So that's why I never- Why are you, what kind of what kind of professions would a man need to have in order to make $400,000 or more legally? Maybe a lawyer. Um, I dated a few lawyer people before. Uh, Maybe a lawyer. I dated a couple lawyer people before. Who? Lead attorney, y'all tag lead attorney to this his wife because she's dated lawyer people. And you know, lead attorney, she look like your type, bro. Come get your wife. Come get your wife for, for the streets. Take her back. Uh, lawyer people. I don't know, a professional. And no, 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 no. I want specifics. You're 30, almost 40. You're, you're closer to 40 than you are to 30. I need you to look more specific. You said a lawyer. You dated lawyer people. Okay, good. You dated lawyer people. What other kind? Okay. Um, I dated. Um, what? No, 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 no. I asked you what kind of professions. We got. We got. A, we a got teacher, a lawyer. Excuse me. What kind of? What kind of teacher? What kind of teacher was he? Uh, an English teacher. At what level? High school. High school English teachers make almost a half a million dollars a year, do they? No, probably. I don't know. I didn't seem like that much, but yeah, they were, I mean, they weren't poor. They have a nice car. They know if they make, depending on what district they're in or uh -huh. what city, then yeah. So, you know, to, so I want you to understand. So the, so the people at the local high school are making 400000 on a teaching certificate. Well, I mean, it depends on where you say local. You mean local pastor? Yeah, yeah, okay. What else, man? Okay, pastor? okay, man. Okay, okay. Teachers. Then what else? Lawyers and teachers. What else? Um, regular working people, people that own. No, no, no. Professions, stores. professions, ma'am. I'm asking. This is just something. It's not a trick question. You want a man that's earning this kind of money? You should at least be able to understand what he should do for a living. I dated people that. Own I didn't ask who you dated. I asked you what kind what? of professions. Cannabis. Cannabis is not a profession. Cannabis is a rapper, but it's not a profession. I'm talking about the, in the medical marijuana um, industry, uh -huh. like, but big though. Okay, like, what else? Period. You could be a barber and you could, a barber off oh, So I want you, you guys to understand. And, I want you to understand, ma'am. Ma'am, do not over talk me. The fuck is wrong with you? I've asked you that so many times. I want you, okay, I'm... She doesn't even know what professions are or like she can't even speak eloquently or put out a single sentence that makes sense. It's honestly, I think, and, I'm, I'm, and all people need this. I am personally in therapy and, and, and I think everyone needs to be in therapy because all of us can't see ourselves. And clearly this woman is living in a land all by herself, a land of pie in the sky, delusion and dreams. 
And she's lying to herself or she's lying to us, clearly. And she's just, and does she consider dating because she was a scripper? Like they knocked her down in the back room. They took her out to the parking lot. Was she dating them? I, I don't, who, what, who, who are these, who are these people, these lawyer people other than lead attorney that's looking for her? He going to get me for this. Because you said you're putting yourself out there more. You can't even tell us what professions. I just did. No, you really didn't. Because in the comment section, you don't see all these hearts going up. I don't see anything. When you, I don't well, see, I'm I in don't the see comment section comments. when this video is over, and you oh. hear people talking about a teacher or a barber making $400,000, they're not going to be very kind. Please, ma'am, stop. I'm trying to help you. Stop. OK. They're not going to be very kind because it sounds crazy. And at no, the end you, of the day, I, I, no, 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 I, I, I will shut this shit out and finish it on my own. I don't need, you have already fucked yourself up enough. I'm trying to help you dig your way out, but if you really want me to, I'll finish it on my own. Now you're 36 years old. Do you earn over six figures? Definitely. What's your profession? Right now, I'm a stripper. I dance all over. I go state to state because you know why? There you go, people. I was, I was working as a. There you uh, go. I was working. There you go, people. And see, and see, some other things. Oh, I, don't make no I money. knew, I knew, I knew. Fifteen minutes ago, what I was talking to, and it's not about being a dancer. I, I've worked in. I, I, I uh, did business in clubs. I like strippers and this good, but it's about a mindset. You ain't learned nothing. Why you ain't not? learned nothing. Cause you still talking like you on the pole. You still talk like. I think she's doing this honestly. She knows that she's not gonna be married. She knows she's not gonna get no man like this, like a luxury housewife. I think she's trying to get clients. Maybe people come see her. Maybe she, like she said, she's in Texas and L.A. So maybe some of y'all wanna bust some bands on her. And and I think this is what it is. It's just especially when they do it on IG because you can see their name. They want people to follow them. They want clout. It wouldn't surprise me if she doesn't have OnlyFans as well. So you can see already, this is a clout demon. I'm calling it out. I, I mean, we'll let him finish, but clearly she's a clout demon. Like a 19 year old girl, you ain't talk, you don't even know the professions. You've been in these places, you dance and you got money. You haven't even been able to identify your targets appropriately. Low class, low rent, low rank. Get out of here. This was a ratchet mess, but it is a good example of the delusion of some of these females out here. But anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mel underscore DA underscore King. The link will be in the description, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.